What was Elminster's last name? Game Masters here, and this may be a bit of a spoiler, but Dungeons & Dragons Beyond uh, recently released the Honor Among Thieves main players. Uh, they're their stat blocks, and among them was Simon Ormar, uh, which is exactly the same last name as the famed Elminster. It even specifically cites that Simon, uh, a sorcerer, is a descendant of an elf and the legendary Elminster Ormar. Further, let's harken back to the Forgotten Realms days of the Time of Troubles in which wild magic began. It seems that Simon has innate wild magic pumping through through his veins, which can cause his spells to explode or, or simply fizzle at random. Before we jump into Simon's stat block, I've got to thank today's Wild Magic supporters, DJ Vu, Rod Batten, and Louis Alanis. You guys, your, your support means a lot, and I thank you kindly. Simon Ormar is a chaotic good sorcerer with an armor class of 12, 18 d8 plus 18 hit points, with a movement speed of 30 feet. Simon has a strength of 8, his dexterity is 14, his constitution is 13, intelligence is 16, his wisdom is 12, and his charisma is 17. Because of his half-elf ancestry, he has dark vision out to 60 feet, and can speak common, draconic, and elvish, and he has a challenge rating of 5. As mentioned, he is half-elf, and as such has fey ancestry, giving him advantage on saving throws that he makes to avoid or, or end the charmed condition on himself. Also, magic cannot put him to sleep. He carries a bag of holding and two pairs of sending stones and a deathly token. Okay, a bag of holding. Everyone knows this one. It's a bag that can hold up to 500 pounds. You don't mix it with a bag of devouring. Popular D&D item. Sending stones are a little less popular, but they come in pairs and allow you to cast the spell sending through them. Basically, sending stones are the direct message of the Dungeons & Dragons world, allowing you to send short messages from one stone to the other for the other person holding it to hear. That last item, the, the Deathly Token, there's really not much that I can say about that. As And, and, and while it tells us to reference spellcasting, uh, which I'll cover in a moment, as best I can tell, there is no such item in the D&D canon called Deathly token. Simon, as mentioned, has wild magic coursing through his veins. As such, when he takes 20 or more damage or critical hit, he rolls on the wild magic surge table. In essence, he panics and that burst uh, of magic comes out in some form as wild magic. For actions, Simon has multi-attack, in which he can make three quarterstaff or chaos bolt attacks, or he can replace one attack with one use of spellcasting. His quarterstaff does 1d6 minus 1 bludgeoning damage, or if he uses two hands on it, it will deal 1d8 minus 1 damage plus 2d10 force damage. His chaos bolt is a ranged spell attack that deals 2d10 plus 3 damage, but here's the fun part. Again, because of the wild magic, he'll roll a d8, and that will determine what type of damage it will do. Uh, acid, cold, fire, stuff like that. For spellcasting, Simon will roll a d6. If he rolls a 1, off to the wild magic surge table we go. Otherwise, if he rolls a 2 or higher, he will cast one of the following spells using charisma as the spellcasting ability. Mage Hand, Minor Illusion, Predestination, I can never pronounce that, Speak With Dead, and again, this is where it tells us that he must be holding that deathly token. Uh, perhaps it's used as the, the, the burning incense component. That's just a guess on my part. Um, other spells that he can cast are Fog Cloud, Mage Armor, Magic Missile, Spider Climb, Bigby's Hand, and Major Image. Simon has a reaction called Sheltering Shield. When he or someone he witnesses takes damage within 10 feet of himself, he can cause a shimmering shield in a 10-foot radius to pop up, centered on himself in the shape of a sphere that will provide resistance to the damage type that triggered the shield. Those within that 10-foot radius also gain the same resistance. Well, as long as they remain inside. Now, keep in mind that these are Simon's pencil and paper stats. Uh, his movie counterpart has a few other tricks not seen in here, but a crafty DM can easily add those in. What we are presented with, however, will certainly be enough if you wish to add him into your session and just see wild and chaotic magic happen. And I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can find Simon's stats, as well as others that we've covered that come from Honor Among Thieves. If you'd like to see the videos that we've done already, be sure to check check out this playlist. It's only going to grow as we add more. Now, what's something that you might be missing from Simon's stat block? Uh, an ability or action that was seen in the movie? Let me know down in the comments, and until next our paths cross, may you not try to cast magic missile, but instead have flowers shoot forth from your fingertips. <laughs>